are we about to watch? Let's find some Strictly Brie to watch. Did she post yet? Hey, she posted. Let's watch it. What's up, go get it? It's Chef Boyardbri. See? Boyardi, Boyardbri. But yeah, so we got episode two. Episode two of this cooking vlog. Your girl just made her Walmart order. Everything just came in. So let's talk about what's on the menu for today. Okay. So I'm not gonna cook as much food as I did last time because I'm only gonna be on the road for like 10 or 11 days because I have to come back home because my niece has her first day of school, I think like August 1st or something, and I ain't never missed it and I ain't finna miss it now. So we're gonna have like hamburgers, pasta salad of course, lasagna soup again. Um, I'm gonna have some fruit and like snacks, cereal. Um, I have Hawaiian rolls to go along with the lasagna soup. I got corn and green beans because we're also doing fried chicken. And I think that's it. Everything else is just like snacks, like mac and cheese, ravioli, little shit, yogurt, stuff like that. So the main dish is hamburgers, pasta salad, fried chicken, hamburgers, pasta salad, fried chicken, and lasagna soup. So let's get started on these four course meals. Okay, I got my ground beef in, and I gotta do all this by myself because your girl is independent. I used all the my grandma's seasoning that she had. Two of these big old things, because last time I didn't have enough ground beef. And then now I have to go Wash my chicken. This shit all red and bloody. It was like leaking out. I'm like, what the hell? And I got a big ass mess to clean up. See, these nails be making you disabled. Oh yeah, I forgot y'all. I don't cook a lot, okay? So I forgot you gotta clean the sink out. Clean mine with salt water. Got my chicken cleaned. I'm just waiting for this to warm up. So now I'm gonna put on a pot and start making my noodles for my pasta salad. So I was gonna hey, just go. Good morning, don't say nothing. Okay. It's just like, well, we're not gonna work now because I can't turn in receipts. I was trying to just bypass. I was like, don't nobody really want a receipt. All right, oil is ready. Time to fry some chicken look at that dirty water i had to go to the dollar general because your girl ran out of seasoned salt and i forgot i had to do hamburgers so we got some
Now I'm not fancy. I don't make my hamburgers individually. I buy that prepackaged shit. But not the one in the box. The one in the box tastes disgusting. But these are good. Comes with 12, but I'm only gonna be gone for 10 days, so I'm not making all 12. Make however many fits on this pan, because I'm not trying to dirty up another pan either. chicken yeah i went to alabama for a party shout out to cream ent follow them on youtube facebook tiktok whatever my girl miss ceo had a performance and it was her birthday and i don't know if they wanted me to do this because i was the biggest one there let alone the biggest girl but they had me frying chicken Her, but they had this stuff and when i tell you after i we cleaned it seasoned it put this stuff on there it was amazing so y'all need to get y'all some of this instead of using flour use this because i'd be seeing people do all that extra stuff like adding garlic powder da -da 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 -da. you don't need all that get you some seasoning salt in this I'm gonna put all this together, put the chicken in here, shake the bag, and throw it in the air fryer. Seasoning salt on, it should look something like this. So now we're gonna throw it in here, shake it up, and throw it in the deep fryer. Still cooking the meat, still cooking the noodles, and the hamburgers are in the oven all at once now, I like flats so I'm definitely gonna try and use it use all these flats for the fried chicken This is why I cook at my grandma house because she got everything. And I may just fry it all. I may not even use that barbecue sauce because these are going to look good. They're going to taste good. I already know. to the top and you poke a hole in them and there's no redness that's how you know they done I don't know if I'm supposed to put this lid on top of it but I am because I don't want to get burned okay. all right you guys so my pasta salad is done well the noodles at least so I'm gonna drain them Drain these bad boys. 
And if y'all seen my last video, you know how we make our little sauce. So let's get to it. What the hell I forgot? This says cold water and oil and medium bowl. using both packs even though I'll use one thing of noodles because I had them bow tie noodles. I can't open up shit today. I mean nothing. Now we need some oil. I'll probably put too much water. I think I put too much water. Oh well. Fuck. I didn't put too much because I still got to add the ham, the tomatoes noodles that's a lot make sure all those clumps are gone I went to Ingles this time instead of letting Walmart do my own tomatoes because they gave me that little four piece last time so I picked out my own tomatoes got these little baby tomatoes and just cut them Probably should have washed these tomatoes, but I'm already putting them in there. Oh well. way too soft. All right. We got the tomatoes. Got to get this ham. I don't be cooking no meat up in here. I like this ham. Throw it all in here. Ham juice. I need to make sure to get the big pan this time. All right, time for my noodles.
Okay, everything's still falling out. One more thing, one more thing I almost forgot. I got some baby diced peppers and I don't see onions, but I'm a, I know I got onions somewhere. So we're gonna put some peppers up in here. Pasta salad is done. The salad is done. I made a huge mess. And I overcooked this chicken. Look how dark it is. If you like yours like that, I don't. I like mine light brown. But look, look here. Crispy. But the timer went off that I had, but I didn't want to stop. I don't want to stop until I finish that. Look at his hair. I didn't pull out the hairs. Oh, I'm still going to eat it. Look at that long. Okay. And then I still got my hamburger meat cooking. Let's check these hamburgers. Forgot about these too. Let's flip them. these in the freezer bag I'm putting the old grease in there too because I like my greasy and juicy I'm gonna put just a little bit more seasoning salt because I only put that on the bottom of the pan but just a little bit I don't want too salty Set a timer oh, for three minutes. And then the hamburgers are done. Okay, I'm gonna put on my second round, put these on a plate with a napkin on them. Probably need to use a real plate, huh? All right, I have no idea where those are at. I'm gonna find them. One second. All right, I'm not gonna let these cook as long as last time.
And this like the flat, this flower is not as messy as that white flower. It's cheaper. It's only like a dollar thirty-eight or something. It looks little. Like I bought two boxes, and I don't even need two boxes. I definitely should have plucked these hairs out. They're just sticking out. I don't know where the hair's been, but I cleaned the chicken, so it should be good, right? Okay. I'm gonna set a timer for six minutes and that should be done. Hamburger meat's taking the longest to cook and that's for spaghetti for my niece. That's why I didn't list it earlier because she's gonna be eating that when she gets home from Disney. And then it's also for my lasagna soup. And I forgot to list this, but when I was looking through it, I forgot y'all, hamburger helpers on the menu too. So peace. Timer went off for these hamburgers. I'm gonna put the flash on. Damn, they look good. Nice and juicy. So they're done. I already ate a piece of this chicken and it was good. And I thought this was blood, but when I opened it, it wasn't. So I don't know what that is, but this was good. Look, I done broke the bone. So now we're going to stab our hamburgers. And make sure there's no blood. What's that? Oh, that's brown. We good. We good. Look at that juice, baby boy. Don't play. supposed to do it with a fork but I ain't trying to look for no fork all right so once these cool down I'm gonna bag them up and then I'm gonna bag this up and then I'm gonna clean up I think they're gonna be dark because the oil dark like, oil ain't that dark I don't know I just want to make sure they're done all the way so I don't care they taste good let me stab these two just in case, because I didn't cook these as long as the other ones. But you see, it's the flats, like, I don't know. It looks good to me. All right. We carry this hot ass grease all over here. Now it's time for round three, and hopefully this is the last round. I don't think it's gonna be the last round. But I gotta leave here at one o'clock, so I gotta go pick up my auntie and my niece. Hell, I'm using her car, I at least can pick her up, you know? And then I'll finish cooking. Start. Hopefully there's some hamburger meat to be done when I get back. We can make the hamburger helper, the spaghetti, and the lasagna soup. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be. Yeah, I can't put all. I got one, two, three. Four, yeah. All right. We'll clean these off. Right, time to clean up.
for any more trash. All right. wash these bags off because I made a mess. And if you do the meal prep like I do, if you see how big and spacious that is, all you gotta do, open this bad boy up. Take it, roll it as flat as you want it to be, and then roll it. Hold on. Roll it. And when you roll it, you close it. Or you can go buy that electrical Ziploc thing that sucks all the air out. Or you can do what I do. Alright, so these are going to go in the fridge. And I got one meal done.
I got an idea to put this on top. And then I'm going to cut and then wrap it up. the juices. I don't want to microwave it and then my burger dry. I like a big juicy burger. I can't be the only one like that. Sides first so the liquid don't come out. Those aren't fully cooled down yet, so I'm not gonna put those in the fridge. All right, so now we're just waiting on our chicken and our hamburger meat. 